Hey, everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So I wanted to pick up on something uh, really quickly. Uh, there's been an active thread about 4-axis standard and some of the different options that are available to it. Uh, if I go under our license here, one of the things that you'll notice is there's Simulation Standard and Simulation Pro. And uh, in some of the videos that you see me create, you know, I'll load up the simulation and then you know after the simulation is loaded up on my screen you're gonna see there's a machine there okay and that's because I have simulation pro this machine uh, there's some default machines that come with the software but you can also build machines as well uh, your fixtures your tail stocks all kinds of things so uh, this is an option in the software that's the reason why I'm creating this video is it's an option it doesn't come standard uh, generally for three axis milling it's not as important but when you start getting into to four axis machining or five axis machining it starts becoming a lot more important as far as how you're going to hold the part and clearances that you have and everything else okay so one of the things that I wanted to uh, look at is once you have all your bodies uh, designed in the software and you set up the kinematics you know you can you actually have those uh, controls so you can see what's going on like in this case you know I can bring the tail stock into the part you know and the other thing that's important to note about this as well is under your settings you have an option which says enable machine component collision detection when cut sim is enabled what this is going to do is when you're you can either have that on or off if you have it on if any of your components as far as your setup or your model um, or anything they collide you're gonna see a collision show up on the screen and, and that's really the value of the machine simulation is how far away from the chuck do I need to uh, hold this part so that I can machine it without hitting the chuck face or the chuck jaws you know um, or or whatever the case might be as far as your fixture setup so again this is a very important process um, especially when it comes to four axis machining and being able to uh, see these collisions uh, or detect them beforehand and then being able to adjust how you hold the part or how you program the part to eliminate those so just a quick video on machine simulation it's an option it's something you can add to the software if you're using 4-axis standard or above um, you know I recommend it really there's only one scenario 4-axis standard it's an option 4-axis standard and below it's an option in 3-axis arena I don't know if you need it so much but in a 4-axis arena definitely if you're a 4-axis pro customer then it comes standard you get you don't have to worry about it it just comes with your purchase so uh, if there's any questions or comments about that please let me know uh, otherwise um, we'll catch you in the next video thank you so much